All right, everybody. Welcome back to Lake City Variety, uh, the Lake City Variety Show. We do for you. Go ahead, take it away, Levi. Oh, I'll take it away. You got something that you owe the the audience. The something that I owe for canceling the bonus episode last week. Yeah. Yeah, for canceling the bonus episode last I week. I am actually like, there's nothing in my spirit that grieves me more than missing the bonus episode last week. Yeah. But it's entirely comforted by the fact that I saw Dune. So I have uh, I have no regrets. Oh, yeah. Dune. Thank you for being a patron. I really appreciate your support. You let us go see Dune last week. Yeah, but also, shout out to the one movie that made me read a book in the past two years. Because I haven't read a book in forever. Uh, but in the last week, I've read the first 300 pages of Dune. Are you serious? I am dead intense. serious. I started the night we got back from the theater at 12.30. Yeah, that's a mistake. At night, <laughs> and I read Dune until I fell asleep, which uh, delightfully boring the book is. Uh, yeah, I believe it. No, it's it's good though. It's like I've never felt more like relaxed yet mind active than while I was reading Dune, and it's a very nice feeling. It's a happy feeling. That's good. Yeah, but shout out to the one like there's a lot of shows that are based on books and movies that are based on books, like the. Um, Shadow and Bone, that's on Netflix. Pretty good show. Actually, I'd say it's a really good show. I have the first book of that series that the TV show is based on. Yeah. Uh, it's in my bedroom right now. I've had that book sitting on my nightstand for probably two and a half months. Uh, I have only read dedic the Dedicated 2 and then not even the name. Just the nice. Dedicated 2. <laughs> that's <two>. nice. <laughs> Your mom. So, uh, yeah, but anyway, Dune read the first several hundred pages who's that one dedicated to uh I, I think it's kids that's pretty lame i know it's um it's good though i dedicate my book to madonna why what is what she about done? beyonce my how'd influence. she inspire you um <coughs> how'd really she inspire you to write a book <laughs> listen i think it's about honor no one crying <laughs> no one <laughs> <than> inspiring <laughs> he's crying no one owned the 80s like Madonna owned the 80s. Wait, are you crying right and now? And that's just, yeah. The <laughs> 80s was the quintessential American experience. That's that's back when capitalism was still fun. And, <laughs> you know, we didn't know the world was coming to an end in the next 20 years or so. Um, there was drugs just everywhere. And Madonna rocked that decade. Are and you saying I, that if Madonna I was could on do that, drugs in the 80s? What? You saying that Madonna was on drugs? Oh, most definitely. Oh, okay. Wasn't everybody in the 80s on drugs? Just ask your parents. Yeah. My dad, who was anywhere from 3 to 13 in the 80s. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, for sure. He see. says he started smoking at 14. So. Listen. I think my dad was 11 to 21 in the 80s, so. Yeah. The golden age. The golden age. Graduating yeah. high school so in basically the, the if, mid to late 80s. If I could just uh, like define an entire decade in my own image like Madonna did in the 80s. What would decade would you pick first? What decade would I pick? Yeah, what decade would you want to have formed in your image? 2030s. The 2030s? Yeah. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Did, like a Great Depression 2? Is that what you want? Elliot? Yeah. Most likely. Yeah. This We've is the time travel episode. Time travel episode? If you could go back to any time period, and not just go back, but also profoundly change it for the better, how? How where would you, would you go? Change it? How would you change it? Yeah. He goes back Here's the to thing. the 1350s with a gun. <laughs> <It's> just w <laughs> they had guns in the 1350s. I know, Paul, but like, very they but just not a guns. muzzle loader, just like a like. A sniper rifle with a huge scope on it. Just a Barrett 50 cal. Jeez. <laughs> He's sniping off world leaders from three miles away. Honestly, <laughs> if you went back to that, that time period as, like, a modern human, you... You'd get killed so fast. You wouldn't survive a week. Oh, no. Even if you didn't interact with a single, like, I mean, first off, you'd die of disease. disease. And then second, yeah. Yeah, they didn't have clean water. They didn't have... Like sewage or anything like Oops, that. Oops, you died of dysentery. Exactly. Instantly. The second you touched a puddle, you died. Dead. <laughs> that would suck. You We're the aliens in, in War of the Worlds, if oh, we ever yeah. go back in time. Oh, yeah. No, we die so fast. Wait a second. 
Also, like, go back to medieval times with a gun and try to, like, storm a castle. There's just going to be 30 guards with bow and arrow, and all of the bows are, like, 180-pound draw that these guys have been drawing since they were seven. So their arms are massive, so they can shoot 30 arrows at you a mile away. Yep. Yeah, with ridiculous accuracy. If I were to... If I had the choice to travel back in time or to travel forward in time, I would travel forward in time. Oh yeah, travel forward in time for that sure. That wasn't my question though. Okay, if I could travel back to a to a time. Okay, period, Elliot. No, 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 no. If you could travel forward in time, with, with when would you travel to, and how would you change it for the better? If how I would travel you travel the future for forward better? in time? Yeah, that's oh, right. I would travel oh, to man. the twenty thirties. You freeze find the entire decade <laughs> in my <laughs> image. You just, you just as the first human time traveler. You just uh, freeze yourself. <laughs> And, like, wake up, like, 80 years in the future and just go, like, no, guys, I'm from the past. I got this. And so, like, you, I like, you get it wrong. Like, <laughs> 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 like instead of going back to the 1950s and, like, no, this is how you fix things. This is what's going to happen. This is what we got to do. You just, like, go to the future instead and do that. And everyone's just like, no, you're so <laughs> you're wrong. wrong. You're just wrong. <laughs> Dude. Listen, that already happened. You're done. <laughs> you're done. Ugh. Yeah, I think that'd be a good time. <laughs> Dude, that'd be a good time. No, in 2003, there's an oil crisis. and That happened 85 <laughs> years ago. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa was barely alive for that. What are you talking about? We don't use oil anymore. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> boomer. <laughs> boomer? It's already past Boomer. They just call you Zoomer instead. Dude, if we're called Zoomers... I can't wait till some kid just goes, okay, Zoomer, to my face. That would be tragic. Oh, man. And then I punch him Absolutely and go to jail forever. Devastating. Um, yeah, to just get an okay, Zoomer. Okay, Zoomer. Okay, zo- Yeah. What now? Like, what, what modern stuff is making you feel old already? Because we're not super old. We're, like, we're early 20s. But, like, something, there's got to be something that makes you feel old. Because I think it's whenever I meet a seven-year-old and they say, yeah, I was born in 2014. Yeah, that'd be pretty intense. <laughs> when my classmates have children. Yeah. yeah. Am I on right now? I don't hear myself. I uh, hear you, you are on. It's harder to hear yourself in your own ears. Okay. I would. Yeah, you are on. I just did turn you up a little bit. Oh, that thing. There has been issues with you being too quiet in the past. Yeah. But that's right because we don't care about your opinion. and we. T- but, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? When my <laughs> classmates have children... Nah, I don't like that. <laughs> when when their children are three, uh-huh. so like <laughs> one of the things that I like want most, and also like deeply fear, is like our whole reality getting sucked into a virtual world. And so, oh, uh, the metaverse? You mean you mean <laughs> Facebook's well, like, rebranding? Like of itself? Ready Player One, like mm-hmm. yeah, like immersive environment vests. Like I saw, like on Amazon the other day, I saw like a sound feeling vest. I saw. And I was that, like. Yeah. Or make makes you feel like, like the this bullet makes wounds me were feel hit old on your, ma- on your avatar or because whatever. I would never want to wear that because it creeps the crap out of me. Yeah, but someone who's seven would be like, "Oh, frick yeah, put that on my body." Yeah. Well, the amount of stuff that we do now, like, like Face ID, like ten years ago, could not have been a thing. Yeah. Because you're not just gonna like, oh yeah, I'm submitting to a retinal scan for a company. No. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, that's not going to But fall. now we're like... But now it's like, oh, yo, you don't have Face ID? You're only using Touch ID? Wait a second. I don't have to put a pin in every time to open my phone? I can just well, give can them just my whole facial structure? Yeah. And let them know exactly who I am? To the point oh, where yeah, I can I wear that. a mask and it still works? What do companies do with that? They've got to do something. they got to do that. something. I have no idea what they could like, do. Like, there's it. no way they're storing that data and not using it. They definitely yeah. sell the crap out of it, right? Oh, yeah. Um... I think Apple is slightly better about it than Facebook. They're not good about it, but they're very slightly better about it than Facebook. Or, That's sorry, like Meta, because <laughs> they renamed – Zuckerberg did a thing and renamed their company. Meta. Just like Google did it with um, – With Alphabet? Alphabet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alphabet, Alphabet, whatever they call it. Yeah, so, you know, they could have a parent company that gets in trouble with all the lawsuits instead of just Facebook. Google. Or, Google. or Facebook. Yeah. Oh, Alphabet got in trouble. What nice. for what? What do they do now? Oh, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm like saying like instead of like, oh, Google got. Yeah, no, they, cause they don't want to like they, they don't want to sell you their name anymore. Like, yeah. You know, that's that's pretty. But it's just called Meta. And it's like I hate 
loading up Instagram now and just seeing that meta like flash across the screen. Yeah. I hate it a lot. Or I you know, Zuckerberg's trying to force along this metaverse thing so he can advertise to us in our homes own homes. I'm already really sick of the screensaver on this T V being ads for stuff that you can purchase mm-hmm. on this T V. Oh yeah, 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 I hate that so much. I wish I could turn it off, but the only way to turn it off is just to turn off the like internet connection on it. Like the thing which I need to like do anything on there, like watch any movie. Yeah, like I have. We you know we just grew our movie collection a little bit. Um, My wife's parents dropped off some of my wife's movies that you know she didn't pull out of the bin, so we we got a couple of them. Anyone want the Tale of Despero? Because we don't want it. I don't even like think the movie? Despero wants the tale of Despero. No, he doesn't. I can't really watch movies. I don't have a movie player. You like a DVD. You like oh, a I have a PS2, I suppose. Yeah, you have a PS2. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the only Blu-ray player in this house <laughs> is the PlayStation 4. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I, I feel that vibe where it's like, yeah, my only DVD console is a a, a game console. <laughs> it was a game console made in 2012 or whenever it was. Yeah. The I mean, PS2 or the, P- the PS- well, PS4. I mean, like my version of the PS2 came out in like 2012. No, it didn't. Why? Because the PS4 came out in 2014. No, but it's like the revamped, like super slim. Yeah, that was still like 2007. That was not 2007. Oh uh, yeah, it was. Don't lie to me. Oh yeah, Google that crap. I'm you're just feeling. <laughs> we're a research podcast. You're just trying not to feel really old right yeah, now. Yeah, but you are. I honestly, if I'm really old. old, I don't care. Do you know what I? I'm. T- I just turned 24. Do you know what I hate? I'm almost a quarter of the. Set. What do you hate? I, I hate mean. being advertised to when I'm pumping gas. Yeah, that that should I make. I can't stand it. I should oh, be I'm able sorry. to agree. The PS2 Slim uh, released in March 4th, 2000. Levi, how old are you exactly? How old? <laughs> Did you say how old is you got Slim? That. You have a PS3 Slim. No, it's a PS2. Is it a PS2? Paul, it's... It's a PS2 that can't like it's the PlayStation it's 2 was first released in Japan on March 4th, 2000. So okay, the PS2 Slim. I got to see when this one came out. So it might be slightly slightly different. Can you stop messing with the headphone it jack? Should I be just different. tried to lean back. That's my yeah. Fault. Just don't do that anymore. It yeah. It's like, it's like 2002, man. But we got it in like 2009 or 10. Sorry, 2004 is when the PlayStation Slim came out. So I was pretty close to 2007. I think that's when the PS3 came out. Is 2007. For six hundred dollars, because we got it Yikes. after we had a PS3. What, you got, Did you well, get, like, you might have got it after. Like no, 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 no. Like you bought we, it new. Like my dad had an old PS2. Yeah. And then it broke. Yeah. And so for Christmas, my siblings and I got a PS2. Okay. But that was nice. after we had a PS3. Your dad just did it backwards. Because it it came out in two thousand four. The slim the uh, PS2 came out in two thousand. Yeah. Like I, my dad uh, got the, the new PS2. The PlayStation came out in 1995 or 96. Because I remember playing Mad- Madden 95 on my dad's PlayStation. And my dad was out of college when it first released. P- so it, it would have been like 92 at the very earliest. But we still wanted to play the PS2 games, and that's why my dad. What are you doing? You just wanted to play Sly, ba- uh, Sly Cooper? Crash Bandicoot? I mean, we never had Crash Bandicoot. So. Did you have Sly Cooper? No. What are you doing to the microphone? What'd you do? Did you get a cramp in your hand from trying to podcast? Yeah. Did you get an injury? Dude, uh, <laughs> I hope we have. Is he out for the rest? <laughs> is he out for the rest of the season? <laughs> I am. Is Elliot? <laughs> is Elliot out for the rest coming. of the season? <laughs> Just give me a re- give me a replacement. I don't know. <laughs> so Dude, we need to is go. this clone failing? Do we yep, need to kill this one? Apart. I mean, get rid of this one? The life expectancy on these things is really only about four weeks. Yeah. Wait, what do you say, Greg? You're terminating his contract? Greg, uh, you have no right. You don't even exist. All right, Greg, thank you for uh, taking care of that in the booth. Crap! <laughs> I'm not leaving! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am making a scene. I don't <laughs> no, Elliot, stop talking. You, uh, they can't hear they're gonna, you. They're going to come for you. Who's going to come for me? Go ahead. Tell me. I'll prepare. That's a good bit. That's a good bit, Elliot, 15. Yeah. Good job. 15 of me? You, oh, well, yeah. you're, you're programmed to think you're only Jesus. the third. 
Every single one of them is programmed to think they're the third. Even the first one thought it was well, the third one. Well, we just got one. rid of Elliot 14 in mid-episode. Yeah. Oh. It's the, uh, it's the so clone. So you've already broken my It's the cloning logic from, uh, from Invincible. All right. Can where you wipe that, please? They Red have the black? same brain. <laughs> Oh, Elliot, 16. Welcome. Welcome to the show. Hey, God. <laughs> what do you mean by 16? <laughs> so, Elliot, 3. Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Wow, it's so great <laughs> that you're you. here. Thank you, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Glad Elliot, to, 3. What did you think of back. Dune? Uh, Dune? Yeah. I love the corporation that makes Dune, and um, I, su- I, I support them fully in their business doings. <laughs> But what company made Dune? <laughs> <laughs> Probably Warner Brothers. I love Warner Brothers. I don't think I don't know if they made I Dune. Love that Warner Brothers. Are you? Is there some kind of commentary happening right so now? So say I I was um, shopping at my local Costco the other day, um, Ooh, looking okay. to buy some Samsung products, um, of which they produce uh, numerous. A- products which are very g- i love getting advertised to in the middle of <laughs> my podcast that i very, own very well priced <laughs> as that as well i own with my reliable. friends <laughs> wait are we sponsored by samsung no we're not or costco no or elliot warner brothers elliot 18 welcome to the show <laughs> <laughs> hey hey what's up <laughs> We're going to go through Can a record number of Elliot's. Surfer Elliot? <laughs> Assad, dude. Assad, dude. So I was in Cali the other day, and um, we were getting some oh, burrito. We were getting some burritos. Are you sh- um, some burritos? Some burritos? Yeah. yeah, yeah. At the good old Chult. At the good old uh, They got some Shavakadu on there. You went oh, to Chipotle, sure. but weren't you a former uh, Rito roller at Kidoba? <laughs> Uh no, I don't think I remember that. Okay, uh, I grew up in South South Cal, so I'm always a Chipotle guy. So it's not South Cal, so he's a faker. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to version five of Elliot. So nice to have you on the show. Mm. We updated his BIOS and gave him a Windows update, so he's now running Windows 11. Bum, Windows bum, 11. Bum. The last one was on Linux Arc, so. <laughs> Why does the surfer dude run on Linux? <laughs> because he's from SoCal. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> but like, what's the deal? Actually, no, he runs on ma- on uh, on. Did you say Beth? No, 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 on Beth? iOS. He runs on <laughs> Beth. <laughs> he runs on iOS. SoCal people definitely run on iOS. <laughs> they don't run on Linux. That's that's Linux like is like New York. No, 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 no. You don't no, think no. so? No, no, no. That's still Mac. Linux is like uh, the uh, people in like Texas Tennessee? that like have satellite internet that they bounce around their entire property, so it hits the three different IPs, and just people in Washington. The state not DC, yeah, that, not DC, the state. State of Washington. The state of Washington seems Makes like sense. a lot of Linux people to me. I can see it. Because it's the kind of people that, like... What operating system do, do Midwesterners run on? Mostly Windows, because a lot of them don't know how computers work anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, so this is there a part of the every country? But co- every single company that at least has a monitored network ha- runs at least one Linux virtual machine that only one guy at the company knows how it works and then they, when they leave you just have to create a new linux virtual machine to run your network on because the one guy that left won't tell you how it works um are you speaking from experience uh yeah there's a bunch uh the network at my work is i, I looked at it one time it is the biggest spider web of garbage i have ever seen it's i think 15 intertwined virtual machines running different virtualized private networks all across the same metered connection, and it's like it's dumb. <laughs> I don't even understand what that means. Yeah, the fact. So that okay, I so underst- so he's got. I didn't understand. So it's, a so I don't know if we that. need to understand all right, how it means. All right, so, no, so, 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 so I'm running on Windows here. Okay. Can you translate to Windows for yeah, me? Yeah, okay. So yeah, you got yeah, yeah, box yeah. right Windows there against here. the wall. That one. That one. Yeah. The one with the three sticks coming out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see all three sticks. Now for every single device that can go on yeah. anything. Create an imaginary device. Okay. That each of your, your right your like your phone connects to that imaginary device. And yeah. that imaginary your device. Your phone's got a phone. No, your phone connects to that imaginary device that looks exactly like that box. But then that imaginary box is connected to the real box, but through software. So it runs on Windows. I mean, wind uh, blows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I get it. Anyway. I feel like I just restarted. You did. Uh, <laughs> dum 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 dum. What's the what's the window sound? 
I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. So Isn't I there use like a, a Windows crash. I use sound? Linux and like Arc. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what my brain just did. <laughs> you know, I think that is it. Yeah. <laughs> dunk. <laughs> yeah, isn't dunk. it like dunk? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Do you have yeah. your most beloved D and D character, Elliot? Bonk. That, is that there you? are a number. There of are so many D and D characters that you ran that through that I've been through. It. I think my favorite of yours <laughs> was the old soldier. Oh, that he was pretty good. That was pretty good. You deemed of not worthy of a name <laughs> to be spoken out loud because you thought he was going to be killed in the next session because yeah. you had already gone through three, three characters, characters. <laughs> in that single campaign. Yeah. And you made him absolutely horrid. And then Paul uh, fixed I everything fixed it. wrong with your character. I did. Yeah, and then killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. By Big Hatman. Every time you see somebody cute. in a giant hat, you guys still panic. <laughs> no, it was the uh That's why I don't wear a hat. The the thing inside of the rock that killed me. Oh, was it really? Yeah, cuz I let it loose. Oh, the abolith. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you're not dead. You're actually just in like an yeah, no, you're alternate you're reality. Yeah, forever swimming thinking and like living your perfect dream. Uh, mega dead. Yeah. You're not you really dead. Like saving I'm the in life the of I'm sorry, that someone? fart was really terrible. <laughs> just turn on that fan quick. I'm low and then let it circulate cuz it's it's like Levi turn on that fan. What do you? I missed everything you just said. Turn it on like spinning. Nope, you don't hit that button more than once, and then you just hit that one. That there you go, that one. Why do I have to turn this on? Uh, because there's a reason why Elliot just scooted away. I really liked the communist bard. Yeah, oh, yeah, that communist was bard was sicko mode. He was a lot of fun. I liked his brother until he died. His brother, pretty cute. And he I liked died. his brother until he died too. Yeah, his brother was pretty cool. When they got killed by the same creature. No, one of them got killed by a big hatman. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he got knocked. Oh, and one of them was Hat killed Man. by the. And he sh- got killed by, Gabe. Thanks, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Gabe. What's he up to? Just uh, probably getting married. I mean, he's engaged. engaged. He's engaged and in college. Yeah. yeah. What is he lame? And working. Well, I mean, finishing the degree that I started. <laughs> yeah. Probably. I mean, <laughs> you got married first. I did. You didn't graduate college. No. I finished college in two years. By saying you were done. Yeah, and by saying I was done college. and I left. And that <laughs> might be the smart play. Yeah, it depends on what you do. Um, as of lately, I've been a amateur electrician for work. Uh, that's been fun. You understand Linux as well? Yeah, but like not enough to where I could run it as my everyday. I still, unfortunately, run Windows. I would love to be the guy that like built his own computer and then runs Linux Arc. And then... like. You know, oh, you use Windows or you use Mac OS. Uh, but I have no idea how Linux Arc works. It's Linux Arc is like the one where you could do whatever you want. But you, you have to like write your own code for it to do that. I'd love to have Windows not tell me to buy Teams. Yeah. Or like every time I boot it up. I, I didn't want to do anything with Windows 11 because honestly, Microsoft sucks and I'm running Ryzen. Um, which receives a twelve to twenty percent like hit, like negative in performance on Windows Eleven. Does it actually? Yeah, because the uh, the cache, the L three cache scheduler, and the core scheduler is not optimized for Ryzen. It's optimized for Intel. Uh, now that the Intel twelfth gen, especially uh, specifically Intel twelfth gen, so Alder Lake, the new one that just came out. Yeah, it's like it's perfectly optimized for that. <laughs> But Which is fine, but not for Ryzen and not for uh, Intel 11th Gen. Uh, 11th Gen still works better than Ryzen does on Windows 11, but it, there's a fix for it now, but I'm just not going to do Windows 11. Yeah. We, and the, at the, I think the time that it tells me that I have to do Windows 11, I'm just going to switch to Linux because I'm kind of done with everything. I hate Windows so much. Well, but they won't. Will they stop supporting Windows 10? Like, when will they do that? Yeah, in, like, seven years. Oh, yeah. They just now stopped supporting Windows 7. Like, like last Be- e- last year, they yeah. stopped supporting Windows 7. With security updates and with, um, like, like Note something, whatever their Note thing is, where, like, all of your uh, Microsoft s- yeah. stuff transfers, uh, they stopped doing that. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people still have their work servers running on Windows 7. It's either Windows 7, Windows 10 server, which... Windows 10 server 
sucks. It's trash. I don't know what that means. Um, okay there's different that. versions of Windows. So like you probably have Windows 10 Home. Yeah. I have Windows 10 Pro, which allows me some specific network features that I use. But like, unless you're going to really dig into them, just don't do Windows Pro. It's not worse. It, it gives you more usability, but it costs more. I think Windows uh, Home is like $60 and Windows Pro is $110. But I okay. got it for like sure. I did not pay that price. I did not pay that price at all because I have access to a lot of Windows keys, so license keys. Mm -hmm. um, and then Windows 10 Server is specifically meant to run on servers and data centers and stuff like that. And it's not really like the Windows that you know now, but it really is just like an access point for how to run your server. But Strange. it's not nearly as good or as usable as Linux is. Like mm -hmm. Linux for server. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of different Linux uh, versions. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to say kernel because kernel. Everything's a kernel. And it's. <coughs> anyway. Uh, let's just go with Tempo o Temple OS. I think everyone okay. should run Temple OS. Elliot, do you have a sound? Who, for which us? was created or by some a racist. Kind of video? Um. I might the, have to dip out on here pretty soon. On the topic of, of Microsoft. Yeah, Microsoft. Yeah, I just like to think about Billy Gates. What about you him? You know, how he's out you there. You got a picture for us? Uh, Ballin and... Do you have his rap video? Holland and constantly... Um, yeah. Jumping over chairs. So As he does. Wait, is there a video of him jumping over chairs? Yeah, from like the 1990s. <laughs> Heck yeah! Is it him doing like three chairs at a he's time? He's doing an interview with CBS, and he's he jumps over. Oh, a I think I know this video. Chair. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just like. Did you? S s yeah, man. One day I'd like to live in a world where Billy Gates is only known for his ability to jump, to jump over, over chairs. office chairs, and not for stealing MS DOS from someone else, renaming it for his own, running a deal with IBM, and then having Windows just be automatically installed on every single computer that isn't made by Apple. Boom. Yeah, Amen. Prob probably. Yeah. <laughs> he also invented the Xbox, though. Let's go, Woo! gamers! Gamers! Rise up! I like yeah, PlayStation better. PlayStation's better, anyway. Like, okay, at this well, point, actually, the Wii is the best Sorry, gaming uh, you're right. Okay. Of all the Wii the is... Most influential the, I would love to play some Wii bowling games. with you guys tonight. That would be a Dude, we, they, we did an outreach at other college yeah. in this town mm -hmm. yeah. where we played Wii bowling in the lobby. Nice. A we outreach for we a we outreach. company. Yeah. yeah. Are we being advertised we here at Lake again? City Variety? Loves Stop the Nintendo Elliot company. nineteen. <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> Woo! Great to be here. <laughs> we need to get one of those uh, shepherd hooks to pull you off stage. I mean, to no pull one you would out ever of the studio. see it though, because we can't. No, and it's it. but it's a gag just for us. Just one. Oh thing, yeah, 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 just for men. When we started Just the show, me. you called me Elliot nineteen. What? All right, what's the problem? What is that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it, Elliot nineteen. It's it's like you know. Am I related to? Yeah, you are related to the virus. To COVID nineteen. Yeah, you are. You're a second cousin. Oh my god! <laughs> you spread. I gotta change Listen, my name. Listen, nobody wants to hang out with you. Oh man. <laughs> Except oh. Ruthie nineteen wants to hang out with you. Yeah, <laughs> she probably does. They By the way, every time you're right replaced, uh, Elliot nineteen, Ruthie gets a notification. A you're notification? Not the same. Oh my gosh, her phone must be blowing <laughs> up. <laughs> How would you know that the phone is blowing up? Yeah. <coughs> we know more than we let on. Hey everybody, I'd Elliot like to 22. welcome you to welcome Elliot 22. <laughs> hey, 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 papi, como estamos? Uh, All right, Elliot 23, gracias. welcome. Yo quiero taco. <laughs> Yo quiero taco. Yo quiero taco. Yo, yeah, Yo quiero. <laughs> <laughs> Un hombre du fromage. Hey, you guys want to skip the bonus episode tonight and go watch Dune? Oh, yeah, that'd be kind of sick, dude. I'd go watch Eternals with you guys. Oh, I heard bro. Eternals is straight poo poo. I've also is heard it? that. I can't. Bad. I want to watch it. I just don't know if I want to pay for it for that for that rating. Yeah. I already watched a movie today. What movie did you see? I saw The French Dispatch at a local theater. Hey, that movie's and supposed to be real good. Ballin'. Yeah. I was the only person in the nice. theater. Really? 
Yep. You went alone <laughs> to yep. see French Dispatch? Yeah. Well, I don't want to have to wait to schedule with Ooh. everyone to set yeah. up. Was it as comedic as you hoped it would be? Um, I wouldn't say it's Wes Anderson's funniest movie, but it's definitely a Wes Anderson movie. Gotcha. And if you're like a fan of Wes Anderson, you like going to see his movies. How would like, you describe his style? It fits the aesthetic. You can't really describe it because nothing else is like it. It's just like if you watch a Wes Anderson movie, you can very distinctly tell it's okay, Wes Okay, describe movie. what are the names of other Wes Anderson movies for people who don't know who Wes Anderson is. What's his other work? My favorite, The Grand Budapest Hotel. Yep. Um, there's... Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox, I think. Well, yeah, th- his animated oh, movie. Oh, I love uh, Isle, Isle of Fox. Dogs. Isle of Dogs. Yeah. Um, Fantastic Rush- Mr. Fox is Rushmore the greatest movie. Rushmore is another one I really enjoy. It is a really good movie. Um, that's when um, he first worked with Michael Schwartzman. Who he is did Titanic, like too, the right? Guy with no, he did not do <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> he wasn't credited for it, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Elliot, Artichoke. Oh, shoot. That's Elliot 19's uh, code word. What's yours again? What's your trigger word? I don't know how I'm supposed to react to this. <laughs> what is it about our All show? of you are sleeping or ag- All of you are sleeper agents. I wish I was sleeping. Budapest. Budapest? Don't even get me started on Budapest, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I said that word earlier. The Grand Budapest Hotel, my favorite Wes Anderson movie. It was, at one point, probably my favorite movie as well. Really? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Um. As a, as a kid, it I watched Fantastic Mr. Voldemort. Fox a lot. Really? Yep. I thought he was killed by Harry Potter. Mm, nope. He just moved to uh, like Austria, I think. What? Why? Is it Budapest in Hungary? <laughs> it it is, but I'm like the movie's kind of hard to. It, I th- it must be in Budapest. I haven't seen it in a while. I guess I I was really into it like in high school, and then stopped watching it. Yeah, but. Uh, it would make sense that it's in it's in Budapest, but like at one point, like fake Nazis invade and fake as opposed to like what I mean. How are they different than the real ones? They're just like a, a simile of it. They're he didn't use like actual Nazi, um, oh oh like okay symbols and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just like it was kind of like stand-in stuff. <laughs> okay, they, so you can could, tell so that they're not sell in Germany. Yeah. What? So it could sell in Germany. Because Germany uh, has like really strict laws about Nazis and fascist stuff, especially yeah. Hitler. Yeah. Oh man, I wonder how uh, Jojo movie, did or whatever that movie. Uh, uh, the Jojo, Jojo Rabbit. C- oh yeah. Jojo Rabbit. Have you seen that movie? I don't know I what have. you're talking about. It's uh the Taika movie Watiti. about Yeah, Tiger Watiti. You mean Titanic? Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, it's Titanic, but a little kid has an imaginary friend, and his imaginary he- friend is, guess what? Hitler. Oh. <laughs> have you seen Look Who's Back? Oh, yeah. That's like the German comedy about like Hitler appearing yeah. in the 21st century. The thing is, they filmed real... It's real reaction. It's like a jackass movie where it's all real. Well, they, they like would have like a the actor go to like real German people and talk to them. Yeah. And they filmed... like. Like the thing is, some people said really scary things for like a movie that's supposed to be a spoof on. Yeah, because some of them were like, "Oh like heck Hitler yeah, welcome back!" So it's like a Borat movie. What? It's, it's like, like it's like Borat, Borat except some like, people. Like the premise is Hitler comes back in 2018 and then becomes like the prime minister of Germany, Germany. again. Yeah, just gets in charge again. Yeah. But his views don't really change. Mm. No. That's kind of the problem. Anyway, I didn't. I don't know. I wasn't a fan of that one. I did like Jojo Rabbit. That's the name of that one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. That one was really good. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how I would feel about that movie because I am not often a fan of Taiga Waititi's movies. Now you don't like him? I just. I think then I just was. I would. There's still a couple of those movies that I just don't want to watch because they just don't look good. I've I like Hunt for the Wilder People. I just have no desire so to really even like watch a preview. He did an MCU movie. He did. Which one did Tiger, he? Do? Which one did he do? It was was it Ragnarok? Ragnarok. It was Ragnarok. Okay. Yep. That one was good, but that's not like the vibe of his other movies, though. I haven't seen any of his uh, other movies. His personality so definitely comes through 
into it. He's like super goofy. He also yeah, but I mean, Planet Hulk is also super goofy. So you he know, he also directed. Um, I think it was the last episode of the of the first season of The Mandalorian. Really? Yeah, actually. Yep. So if you remember, well, that's a good episode. That like that scene where the stormtroopers are just sitting around on their speeders and like sh- trying to shoot. Or they punch a baby. They're not punching <laughs> babies. They punch a baby. Yeah, they punch baby Yoda. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. He, I'm pretty sure he was like really involved in writing that one little comedy bit where it's like the stormtroopers, like shooting the can. Yeah, it's like really self-aware, like. Man, these helmets really suck. We can't hit anything. I can't see <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's, he's definitely got moments. And it's just did, like, like some stuff I just have no serious. desire to watch of his. But I tell you what, I can't wait to see uh, Dune Part 2. Dude, that would be a good movie. Coming out November of 2024. No, 2023. Three? Yeah, November 2023. I don't know if I can kind wait two years. Time. It's two years. They're on the Star Wars release schedule. Yeah, uh, which is not probably ideal for a movie that's not like Star Wars in any way, um, because here, guess what? Reading it's after reading space. the bo- first like half of the book, yeah. Uh, if your favorite part of the Star Wars prequels was how Palpatine became in charge, and none of the Force stuff and none of the magic, but just like how he used politics to start leading everybody, that would have been a really cool movie. Well, it's it's, uh, if you read straight. the book Darth Plagueis, that book is about that a lot. Nice. Be like Travis Scott. But straight Travis Scott. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> inside <laughs> but jokes. But yeah, if your favorite... Uh, Upon inside jokes. Why do you have inside jokes on the podcast we started together as a group? <laughs> when they're not inside for the both of us. And not Elliot. Isn't Travis Scott in a bunch of trouble right now? Uh, he's probably in a bunch of trouble all the time. I mean, like one of my... Anyways, we can unpack that statement later. You were talking about the prequels. Yeah, anyway, so if you just like the politics of Star Wars and nothing else, there's like, you know, there's a mystical part to Dune, and it's more than what it seems, but it's it's a lot, a lot of it's like politicking and like, oh, this isn't really a good thing that we have to go to this planet and then we're in charge of it and this is where all the money comes from because now we're going to be all instantly killed and like... The, the alliances that happen inside of alliances and the mm-hmm. backstabbing that happens and like the you know the putting on like a friendly face to an enemy to immediately as soon as they let their guard down even a little bit just kill them it's like yeah. that kind of stuff it's really good i really like dune i like i said immediately oh, started reading movie. the book i think i all of the, all six of the books are in I, uh my amazon card at the moment mm mm-hmm. Feeding more money to Jeff Bezos because I'm going to spend sixty dollars on books. Um, it's not the worst thing you can spend money on. No, it's not the worst thing you can spend money on. Although I do, uh, I can't. I don't know what I'm. I'm not going to incriminate myself. Uh, All right, everybody. Uh, I think the way that that one guy in the movie kind of like floats in the air and he's got like that thirty foot robe on. Oh, yeah, yeah, where it looks Hilarious. like he has really long legs. I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, easily the, the funniest movie I've ever seen in the last year. It's a pretty like uh, uh, the like fact the that Titanic the second build actor, the second is. build actor on the movie doesn't talk for the first two hours, but does a slow mm-hmm. pan turn around and like just g- uh, gazes at you. Oh, for the like woman? the first two hours. Yeah, Zendaya. Yeah, yeah. The fact that that she's on the top of the bill, not the top, but the second on the top of the bill, underneath Timothy Chalamet. And, and then, then she's just like the line. most down to the earth like being you'd ever meet mm-hmm. at the end of the movie. It's like, oh, she's gonna be like, her character is really cool, like romantic, and it'll be great. And it's like, no, she's just like, you're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> take take my knife. It'll be an honor for you to die. To die holding, holding my um, knife. It's like what? Yeah. No, she's like kind of cool about it. Uh, not expecting the uh, Timothy to win at all. But um, he does. By the like way, the book, so the movie does a really good job for that first hour before they leave to go to uh, Arrakis, which is Dune, the yeah. planet, the mm-hmm. sand planet. Spoiler alert, by the way. Yeah, the it's movie takes place on a planet called Arrakis, which is Dune. It. Yeah, um, It's dusty land. Anyway, so the first hour of that movie is like them going to, that, like getting ready to go to that planet. Uh, they get to 
uh, Rackus in the book in chapter two. So they did a really good job mm. of kind of building up who these characters are. Yeah. Based on like you know twenty pages of a book. Yeah. Um, and then like you know that kind of stuff to like really make you care, not make you care, but like provide reasons for you to care about who these people are, about like why this is not exactly a good thing that they're going to this planet. Um, you know, like abandoning their home, and it's like, no, we're not getting this planet. They're taking our old planet, like that kind of deal. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and like the Earth, space, right? What? Which is Earth? They're not on Earth. Their old planet? Yeah, they're not on Earth. How do you get the last name Idaho if you're not on Earth? Uh, it's a sci-fi movie. Don't worry about it, Han Solo. <laughs> okay. Sci-fi <Nice>. names. <laughs> yeah. Idaho does sound Sorry, like is the main character of your sci-fi movie named Luke? <laughs> Luke Idaho? <laughs> Luke Idaho. Yeah, Duncan Idaho. <laughs> greatest sci-fi name ever. That's the name of my, uh, my Earth sci-fi main character. In, so Earth does exist in the Dune universe. The mm-hmm. Duneverse. Duneverse. Okay. However, it was... Like say it. It's where humans like, are from then. Yeah, yeah it, it's where... Well, the Empire branch... Uh, we can get into all this in the bonus episode, I think. Oh, yeah. Or I'm actually Pretty interested. Dense. Um, Bonus I think Thanos is still alive, though. No, I think up. so too. Shut up, Elliot. Honestly, where does the Titanic fit in all the? I was Dune really universe? sad that Aquaman died. Well, it fits into the if, nineteen. If like he the, died, like then who's going to save everyone from the sank. Titanic? Because <laughs> you know, like the. When are you, Aquaman are you died, done? that was the saddest part. <laughs> that was a pretty sad part. He's not dead. My said. my least favorite don't, part. Don't tell me that. Don't tell the me. The saddest part said. was when the second Titanic fell out of the sky. Uh, yeah, Dune. that was pretty sad. <laughs> Titanic. When two. they built the second <laughs> Titanic, and then they they realized, wait a minute, this entire planet is just sand. We can't run into any icebergs. And then there was that one scene where, like, like that one. Uh, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, that and then and then the dead. big sandworm just and comes and eats guy? the guy who is right. like hanging on to the. I just I can't. Now that's I just desert power. <laughs> <laughs> desert power. Paul. 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 Paul's got desert power. Paul. Look at he him. broke Paul. There's no ball. <laughs> I'm done. I'm going home. I just I give line. the worst like explanation of a movie scene that doesn't exist, and then Paul just absolutely down. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Stop ruining a good book and a good movie. <laughs> Stop it. I just I really like that part of the Titanic where it's just like the big noodle snake comes and eats the ship. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways. So, Paul, if you could go back in time. What time would you go back to? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, like. 2001. <laughs> nice. So I could go on that plane with Mark Wahlberg and we could each stop those terrorists. Mm. Uh, Dude, that'd be sick. From destroying the Twin Towers. Did you hear that Mark Wahlberg quote? No. <laughs> <laughs> if I was on that airplane, I would have stopped him. <laughs> oh, God. <gosh. laughs> yeah. yeah, you would have, Mark. <laughs> of course you would have, Mark. <laughs> I mean, gosh. <laughs> I was on that airplane. No, I'd probably shoot my way back to like, oh, uh, like eighteen, like the eighteen twenties. Okay. Kind of the end of the musket, beginning of um the rimfire and uh, rimfire rounds. Yeah. And then find a man named uh, Mister Browning, and. uh and tell him, hey, I know where there's a bunch of gold out west. Let's go fund your empire so we could have even more cool browning rifles. Um, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I mean, I'd go back to that time. And, like, you know, that the dream is like, oh, I'll just go out west and, like, get all the gold first. But then, like, you're, you'll die on your way out there. Yeah. 
Um, I'd rather like go out west and be like the person who owns the tavern. <laughs> you just be the tavern owner. Yeah, or like I'd rather just go back then, uh, go straight to SoCal and just rip some gnarly waves. Be the guy that invents yeah, surfing yeah, yeah, yeah. before yeah. they find Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, oh. I would just shred sick gnar. You know, I would go to Manhattan in that? like in like 1680, or like, and just start buying property. Mm. And then I and then I would go back to the future, no, dude. where I own all of the property. <laughs> of Manhattan. I would go to Salem, Massachusetts and shred some fat gnar <laughs> on those waves until they're convinced I'm a witch. <laughs> 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 when they try to burn me, I'm a surf straight You're out. You're surf on a lake <laughs> <laughs> until they kill you. <laughs> if it weighs the same as a duck, then she's a witch. She's made out of she's wood. Burn the witch! She turned me into a newt. A newt? I got better. Better. <laughs> uh, there was a Monty Python reunion that happened a while ago. That was cool. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Um, that's sick on my. I could name exactly one oh. member of Monty Python. Yeah, which one? Uh, John. Cleese. Cheese. <laughs> you want to verify that? This is a research show. Nope. All right. I'm confident in my answer. John Cleese is his name. That's what I said. No, I mean you John said cheese. cheese. John cheese. Yep, you said cheese. Yep. I would. I, I don't know. I think I would go back to a like bit of a spot of cheese. Like again, like 1850s, 1820s, something like that. Yep. Just like beginning of like industrial stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know years. So I, th- I assume that's when that was starting to happen. And More then use the knowledge that I do have and uh, create polymers. Um for uh textile and uh and just like you know other not just textile but like everyday things um and you can do it using like algae and stuff so it's not that bad uh Mm -hmm. but also like kind of end that argument of like well if we don't have slaves well we're getting our cotton hanes t-shirts it's like well we have polymer (laughs) you know dude we can just make it in the factory yeah yeah just make it cheaper and better which okay, cotton still good, but yeah, like just provide like a whole like competition thing, where uh, slavery is ended via capitalism and not via politics. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be. Well, I or think war, eco warfare politics. Yeah, an eco an eco capitalist uh, warfare, and like sabotage and stuff like that mm-hmm. instead of through like government mandates because government mandates suck. Um, like. The sense that a government has, like, I have the power to take in and remove anything from you. It's like, yeah, people aren't property, but you shouldn't need the government to tell you that. Mm -hmm. You should just... They obviously did, though. They obviously did need the government to do that. But if you just destroy them with your your better capitalism, (laughs) with better products, just destroy the slave market... Uh, by like driving down the price of like everything because it's like it doesn't work. Well, there would be money in it. Yeah, because like just like to. just kill the price of cotton. Mm. You know that kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. That's the dream, and then no one listens to me because no one understands what a polymer is. But then I get that's why it's called you, polymer because I already went back in time to create polymers, and it's not oh, P O L Y. It's P A U L Y. Polymers. Polymers. <laughs> Dude, you know when I would go back in time? I've already done it. I'd <laughs> I've already gone back in time. <laughs> Dude, you know where I would go back in time to? What was that? I'd go back in time and be a part of one of the greatest experiences known to man. What's that? The Titanic. <laughs> You want to you you want to be the iceberg, don't you? I would single-handedly crash the Titanic <laughs> okay. into the iceberg. <laughs> you were the helmsman. That's a, that's a really good uh, that's a really good choice. And then You know, you could do that you don't now. Have to beca- go back in time to do that. You could just do that now yeah. because guess what? Uh the government of India has remade the Titanic exactly to spec. Boom. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to crash the crap out of that. Let's <laughs> go find a freaking iceberg. <laughs> He's playing bumper boats again. <laughs> Yeah. Helmsman, what's our heading? We're going to hit the iceberg. Full speed ahead. Well, I t- you know, the ice used to go a lot lower because the Titanic sailed from, like, North Africa to Florida 
and you know the ocean used to be a lot colder before all that smoke and stuff so yeah and it's really a good thing that we got rid of the icebergs because now there's less titanics happening there we go that yeah. is hot take everybody yeah <laughs> are you done with these hot takes elliot <coughs> the earth is a hot take right now that's for sure you got that right yeah especially today this today was a nice rusty fall day it was as someone who had to be outside all day for work it was a nice roasty fall day. As opposed to what our normal fall days are like. This was really nice. Yeah, there should be snow on the ground. But there is I think that's coming Thursday. See it. Yeah, so th- yeah, Thursday is supposed to be the first day of snow on the ground. Nice. It was so guess what I did all day today? Uh, prep uh, the grounds for the snow. It's like moving everything that needs to be moved inside. Taking care of all that stuff. Just being outside all day. Moving cones around, finished painting a lot. Nice. Did a lot today. Drove a challenger through a wall. Uh, Dude, nice. I didn't do that. No, that's <laughs> that's sickle mode. No, that's on Thursday. I mean, I drove it through a hole in the wall, but I didn't drive it into a wall. That's what we call doors or garages. Do you guys remember? Well, the I drove show it through where a window used to be. Ah, uh, okay. Do you remember the show Hole in the Wall? No. Yep. Do you never watch Hole in the Wall? I don't know what Hole in the Wall is. I don't Dude. know what you're talking about. Yeah, it guess, good, take a guess right? as to what it is. Is it just a crappy apartment tour? Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, so imagine. Oh, is it like the best bar in this little crap no, no, hole? No, 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 Paul, I'm well, going to paint you a beautiful picture, You're right? thinking way too metaphorically about I'm it. Is it really you, just a I'm hole in the wall? I'm going to paint you an absolutely beautiful picture. Imagine we're Cartoon Network, and we want to make a game show. Oh, and you have to fit through the is, hole in the wall. You have to fit through a <laughs> hole in the wall. And if you don't, you get bonked into a swimming pool. Yeah, that so, sounds stupid. Oh, it was actually a <laughs> sick show. It was, it was insane. Yeah, because sometimes they would they would put the hole in the wall of where you you had to like jump to get through it. Yeah, yeah. Jump into Pretty a plank sicko. or something like that. Pretty sicko. Yeah. And hey, it would wh- be how old were you guys when you found out that Fetch with Rough Ruffman was fake? It's not fake. Oh, <laughs> right now, <laughs> it's not fake. It's real. <laughs> Real challenges. <laughs> Wait, you mean it's like it's as fake as the Titanic, right? No, Titanic's real. Fudge was rough and is fake. I don't believe that. I've applied to be on that show, oh, and I, I refuse <laughs> to accept that it's fake. They won't get back to me. They said that this the show has been canceled for like the last five years, but. I'm still applying every year. <laughs> to fetch with and I'm <laughs> as a, going to as a 48-year-old man, you're applying to be on a fetch with Ruff Ruffman? Yeah. Dude, I'm still applying to be on Kid Nation. I'm still applying to replace Steve on uh, Blue's Clues. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. <laughs> I'd love to be the fourth Steve on Blue's Clues. Have they found a Jeopardy host yet? Yeah, it's uh, Alec Baldwin. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that they have not found a Jeopardy host yet. Uh, apparently, Alec Baldwin has not yet been arrested for murdering someone. Oh, the guy who shot someone with a yeah, yeah, the actor that shot yeah. someone with a loaded with a real gun and killed a videographer and injured one other person. Did uh, it? what? I don't know. It's much more complicated than no, 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 no. Someone. It's it's a it's an involuntary manslaughter because he was told cold gun. So there's a lot more than this that, but it's yeah. like. That it's happened really two weeks ago. Accident. Yeah, it's a really bad accident. It's you know. You really got to feel bad for Alec Baldwin because he was put in that situation, and and it's technically at action. this point not. And he also have to feel it's bad not his fault, but it's also his fault because you have to treat every firearm if it's loaded, even if you're told cold gun. Yeah. Um, it's like that kind of thing where it's like, yeah, it's a in, it's a discharge that shouldn't have happened, but at the same time, at least don't point it at people. Even if y- you treat every gun if it's still loaded, even though you're even if you're told it's not loaded, that's kind of the rule. Yeah. But again, if you're told it's not loaded, then it falls underneath someone else's like, oh, then why did you say it wasn't loaded? But it's it's still like a hey, you did it. Mm-hmm. So, Ellie, what are you thinking? I'm pretty sure like the scene specifically called for him to be pointing the gun at the camera. Yeah. Of which the the assistants were behind or like in the general vicinity of. So mm-hmm. there, although the thing is, is that there had already been a discharge, a negligent just dis- discharge on the set of this m- movie, like 
three or four days before that didn't hit anyone, but still happened after someone said cold gun, and it happened. And then, like, four days later, this accident happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like there's already there was already issues going into this whole thing before this that just weren't handled. And apparently the staff was, like, super overworked because they had to stay 55 miles away from where they were shooting. They had to drive an hour every day to the shooting. Well, because they were shooting in the middle of a desert. And they just I mean, wouldn't, like, haul trailers enough. there. So they had to stay at these crappy motels an hour away. Or else you could just haul trailers there. Yeah, you could just do that, but they didn't. Anyway. It's a whole thing. But, you know... At the same time, it's like, just because there's, you know, more than one side of, like, what happened. Yeah, it's still the murder of this, you know, poor woman and, like, her family has to deal with this now. and Yeah. It's really and, terrible. And, it's and so you feel bad for, like, everyone that was involved. Because everybody's losing. Right? Yeah. Like, there's there's actually no part of it that is There's good. no part of it that's good. And but, you know, it's it's not something where you can just, like, let it go. Because it's still a problem, you know. Yeah, that's why it's like, well, there's an investigation, and it's like, you know, well, you've been investigating for how long and done nothing, so it feels like you're not going to do anything, like you know, that kind of point. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ellie, you're kind of out of this one. What's going on? Well, I don't know. This just isn't a very fun topic. Oh, okay. I was just like... What? I don't remember what we were talking about just before this, but... Oh, uh, uh, Levi wants to crash the second Titanic. Welcome oh, to the end right. of the episode, everybody. The part it's of the episode that that's the here. end. <laughs> Weed, of course. I Love pulled off one of my toenails today. That was cool. That's rough. I see the bandage. Yeah, yeah. I, um doesn't hurt anymore i'm just i'm dead to the pain i went i really just try to do it so i can feel anything but it doesn't really (laughs) work when you do something to feel something which you haven't felt in a long i can't wait to be tortured in real life because i pull off my fingernails and toenails for fun i feel like you shouldn't want to do that (laughs) at all no i get like really really bad ingrown toenails Mm. and so the only solution other than going to the doctor which uh you know, that requires money and insurance and time. Yeah. Especially right now, it's, like, really hard to just go in for, like, oh, my toe's bad, like, when everyone else is dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, um, I mean, not as bad a, anymore. there's a shortage it's still, of, Yeah, but it's, like, like it's it's just, like, hard to make an appointment because it's, like, oh, you, your appointment is two months out. And it's, like, yeah, I'll just pull off my toenail. Thank you. Yeah, well, and, yeah. Because in two months, I'll have a new toenail back and you can fix that one. <laughs> it, it mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, it, you know, and I'm not going to go to the emergency room because it's not that bad of a deal. It's just, you know, a pain in the butt to walk with your toenail where it digs in like this far on the side of your toe. Mm. So uh, the solution is just pull it out. Razor blade and pliers. I could always just turn to alternative medicines. Yeah, that's what a razor blade and pliers are. I mean, like. No, like crystals I'm sure. and. You yeah. mean like crystal meth. meth? No, maybe not that one. Oh. <laughs> just. Maybe like Bad amethyst. Salts and amethyst. Just like Man, smack your toe. I'm going to get into crystals non ironically. Pour some. Pour Un- some unironically, I want to get into crystals. You want to unironically get into crystals. Crystals? Yeah. I'm gonna There's get absolutely no way you can do that. I'm right? going to do it. I'm going to get into crystals. Maybe if you like. They're a, healing. A lamp. Listen. Paul. A, ro- a, a rock salt These lamp. rocks said in this way absorb the negative energy in this room. Yeah. In your toe. Just a yeah. the negative energy in your toe. I'm going to tape a boulder That's to my foot for, every single day. <laughs> Just receive the healing of Jesus, Paul. There's also that option. Yeah, there's also that. But I'm going to buy rocks You instead. don't get to waste money on rocks. I'm going to buy $100 oh, rocks. Oh, okay. I'm going to go waste money on rocks. I'm going to go. good plan. Yeah. It's not wasting money. They're healing. They're absorbing the negative energy that you're bringing in to this studio. Yeah. Well, your feng shui is all off. Your Paul. feng shui? Are your you kidding? Your feng shui woo woo is all <laughs> off. <laughs> your uh, couches are all oddly misplaced. That's There's because a we have to mirror just hang like. Boom. Bro, it has to be like over there. No, it does an, not. It's a six to, like, foot tall mirror to like display the positive energy. It's of the a room, six the best foot light. tall mirror. 
There's an ATAT above the fireplace. What's yeah, that's a lot of what's na- like okay. you gotta twist okay. it just a little bit. Actually, and move I'm it not off saying to anything bad about to get that. That, positive energy. that should be a that is a positive energy. Do you know how many no, pieces fell off a little bit when you moved that? that? None. Mm, it was more than one. <laughs> Two, <laughs> five joke. pieces fell off. Worth the joke. All right, everybody. And if you <laughs> like the positive energy I was, it was of this the, show, it was the first thing I noticed to when I walked Patreon. into the house. Was where did my AT my AT has gone? Yeah, I, I, nice like, I had your number. Sorry, I was I'm about to hit call Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to hit call Elliot on my phone to yell Give at you because I thought what you had done was episodes. take my ATAT to your house and walk it across the street and up the I walk. I really care and appreciate <laughs> each and every one of you, even if Paul doesn't, because he's still belaboring Elliot the whole time. Yelling at Elliot's part of the bit. It's part oh, of the show. Oh, that's right. That's right. This is the part of the show where we Elliot yell at Elliot. Elliot 25 Why do you do it is a pretty, pretty fun person to, el- to yell at. <laughs> that's hurtful. <laughs> I yell at Levi, too. What yeah, are you talking about? You're right. Yeah. But I don't I don't show actually it yell at outside. either of them. I just get very enthused. And if you want to Photoshop slash edit us into the Titanic, you should and post it on I our I want to be the boat. Please post it on our Reddit. I, I want you guys to make... A train sona of all three of us. If you want to start a clip <laughs> channel on YouTube about all of our best bits, you should also do that. <laughs> I want to see some good bits. <laughs> Elliot, what's wrong? I didn't even hear what he said, so I hope it was I've good. I've never heard the word train sona before, but I don't want it to mean what I think it means. <laughs> what That's where you, you turn yourself no, into no, 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 Thomas no, no. and Friends character. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you say for train normal, yourself? Train Sona. Do you for want to normal do? reasons or for reasons that I don't want to talk about on the podcast? Reasons you don't want to talk about on this podcast. Do, okay. do, 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 That's enough for me. Do, do, <laughs> We're to end with Train Sona. Also, I can't do, wait till the Dune do, Lego do, sets come out. Do, 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 I don't know if they're going to, but I hope do, they do. It's too big of a property to not have Dune Lego sets. I can't wait to build a 6,000 piece tall sandworm. Lake City Variety is a product of us with our intro and outro written by Mia. You can give her a follow on Instagram at Mia underscore art underscore 1391. Thank you for listening to the show. We'll be back next week. Sitting on a couch and they're recording a podcast.